It is a little strange that most of the focus recently has been on the 1080 and not the 1070. I mean, even NVIDIA CEO Jensen Wong said about three or so sentences about the 1070 at the keynote speech. Go ahead, have a listen. But I have more. GTX 1070, 6.5 teraflops, 8 gigabytes of G5 memory, faster than a Titan X, faster than a Titan X, $379 MSRP. And for the NVIDIA designed Founders Edition, 449, available all over the world, June 10th. I'm not even joking. That's all he said about the 1070. I watched the speech all the way through and that was it, that little clip you just saw. So that's probably why we don't see much in terms of specifications in regards to the 1070 on the web. Now there's plenty on the 1080 and he, in fact, he talked personally about the 1080 for quite a while, uh, but the 1070 was, was pretty much kept on the DL. And that's a little interesting to me. I wonder if that means that the 1070 is actually the better buy and they just don't want people to know that because it might steal away from some of the 1080 sales earlier on. Nonetheless, I want to investigate, speculate, make a few suggestions, maybe throw out a few opinions of my own, let you guys gauge for yourselves what you think about the 1070 and if Nvidia's personal claims hold true. First up, I want to talk about floating point performance because we actually do have physical numbers from Nvidia in this regard for the 1070. So we have the Titan X at 7 teraflops, the 980 Ti at 6.5, and also coincidentally the 1070 at 6.5. Now this falls in line with Nvidia's claim that the 1070 is on par if not a little better than the Titan X when it comes to certain workloads. Faster than a Titan X. Faster than a Titan X. But I have my personal doubts about this claim and here's why. Now disclaimer up front, the 1070's CUDA core count is not released yet, but going off of what I've seen as the trend over the past 5 or 6 years, it seems like the 1070 should expect somewhere around 2000 CUDA cores when you take into consideration the fact that the 1080 has 2560. Even when you consider the fact that the 1070 is based on 16 nanometer Pascal transistor design compared to the Maxwell design of the Titan X at 28 nanometers, I still don't see it. I don't see the potential that the 1070 has to beat the Titan next in any workload whatsoever. I may be completely wrong about that and we'll certainly find out come June 10th, but for now I'm going to remain very skeptical about this claim. Another way you can tell is through the TDPs of both cards. Graphics card quote unquote power ultimately has nothing to do with the frame rates that you'll see in games. I mean look at the R9 390 and how much power that card demands versus the GTX 970 given the fact that both cards are fairly similar in most titles. When you take into account the 1080's TDP and then compare that to the Titan X's and construct a few ratios to relate the CUDA core count to the total power draw and thus overall performance, the 1070 just doesn't stand a chance. At least from these calculations, these may be entirely inaccurate. Like I said, what we're going off of right now is a single slide. What you're seeing right now is all we know essentially about the 1070, so all of this is speculation. But a lot of you have been asking me about what to expect from the 1070 given that we don't know much and that the Nvidia CEO really didn't say much about it. So this is the best I can do for now. In another note, the 1070 will feature 8GB of GDDR5, this is plain old G5 memory just like we've seen in the past with other Maxwell cards. No HBM, no GDDR5X, just GDDR5, that is such a pain to say, GDDR5. Nothing special there. And while it hasn't officially been revealed, it does appear that the 1070 will be based on a 256 or 384 bit memory bus, so expect memory speeds similar to those of the Titan X and the 980 Ti. And there's nothing wrong with that, but it's certainly no GDDR5X memory speed. 8GB appears to be a middle ground between the 980 Ti's 6GB of onboard VRAM and the Titan X's 12. And no, we're not looking at a 7.5 plus 0.5GB issue like we saw in the 970. Cross them my fingers here. I want to conclude the video by conducting a few performance to price ratios, so stick around. I've taken the teraflop values of the three graphics cards that showed in the original performance graph and divided each by their current MSRPs. You can pick up the Titan X for about $1,200 on Amazon, the 980 Ti for about $600, and the 1070 on June 10th for around $400. The ratios you're seeing in this graph are the performance values per US dollar spent. So with every dollar you spend, you should expect to see X amount of performance out of each card. Clearly the 980 Ti is almost twice as valuable as the 1080 when it comes to performance per dollar. And on top of that, if we take Nvidia's claim at 6.5 teraflops for their 1070, it does appear that their 1070 is an even better bargain than the 980 Ti. 
What I want to say now is wait. If you are currently looking for a graphics card, especially from the green team, it would just be absurd to purchase one before definitely May 27th, but even June 10th in my opinion, just because we, we need to get these cards in our computers and we need to test them before you guys make decisions based on just what Nvidia is saying. We cannot take what any company says at face value before we actually get our hands on them because let's be real, they're trying to make money, they're trying to build up hype. It's, it's, it's just business. And unfortunately, that's what it's come to these days. The 1070 appears to be the better bargain between the two, but I'm not ready to put my personal stamp of approval on that card just yet until I have it in the computer and I've already run my benchmarks. I did tell you all that I'd be purchasing the 1070 over the 1080 just because it does seem to be the better bargain and more of you appear to be interested in that. So stay tuned come June 10th. It will take a bit longer for the card to get here, but once it does, I assure you I will have the benchmarks and we will have a finalized tally of what to expect between the two cards should you decide to purchase one or the other. Give the video a thumbs up if you think it deserves one, give it a thumbs down. If you just hate everything about life, click the subscribe button if you haven't already and stay tuned for more tech-related content on the channel. This is Science Studio. Thanks for learning with us.